In this video, I'll take a look at three functions, with, within, and aggregate. To explore these functions, I'm going to load in the Mario Kart dataset. The with function can be used to access variables in a data frame with ease. This is especially important when the name of the data frame is long and multiple variables are being accessed for a calculation. I can read this command as, with Mario Kart, compute the total price minus the shipping price. The within function is similar to with, except that it's used to create new columns and merge them with the original data set. For instance, here I'll add an auction closing price to the data frame and store the result in a new data frame called mk. Notice that the commands to generate the new variables goes inside braces as the second argument. If I had wanted, I could have added multiple variables by creating more variables inside of the braces. As you can probably guess, the with function is useful for one-off calculations, while within is useful for expanding a dataset to include new variables. When I want to aggregate or summarize results, I often use the aggregate function. Here, I'll aggregate across the number of wheels and the condition variables. The first argument is a formula. The dot on the left side of the tilde means keep all of the variables for the output and the variables on the right side, separated by a plus sign, indicate which variables to aggregate across. The second argument is a data frame, and the third argument is how to aggregate the variables. Had I only wanted to aggregate across one variable, say, the total price, I could have replaced the dot with the total price variable. Notice the similarities between what the aggregate and tapply functions produce. Which you should use depends on what you will use the output for. Congratulations, you finished section 3. The next section will introduce how to write your own functions.